Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's Nintendo Direct. I saw yesterday that they were doing one, and I'm like, sure, why not make that today's video a little reaction to the thing? No camera for this, because I just woke up and didn't have time to put myself together, and I'm a mess, so we're just going to get this done. It's not even that early in the morning. It's just, ugh. Oh. I stayed up late last night doing something. Oh yeah, it's a mini. And a partner showcase. When Which means nothing interesting will darkness, happen, probably. When the land falls into chaos, the archdemon of the abyss shall rise from the earth. Monster Hunter? They come rushing here in a the Sun Thing DLC? It's the funny dragon. Oh yes, Sunbreak, not Sunrise. Free title update one. It's Mario. I don't know what's happening. Am I supposed to be like, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Uh-huh. I don't know what that means. I've never played. A Monster Hunter game. I guess they're just adding... Yeah, rare species monsters, subspecies monster, powered up monsters. They're just adding monsters, which is, you know, cool. But like... Could you do that... To Mario Kart? <laughs> the DLC, please? Hello, everyone. Welcome oh, I love this man. Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. In this presentation, we'll be focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching this year from our publishing and development partners. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's get into the headlines. Are you a publishment development partner? The battle to reclaim Earth. I've seen some things on Twitter. Like there's going to be a Metroid game or something and a bunch of other things, but I'm like, mm. life forms have overwhelmed the planet, causing the collapse of civilization and forcing humans to take refuge on the moon. <laughs> okay. Now, with an android squad called Yorha. Also, I've never played Nier Almada. Stand against these machine life form invaders. The end of Yorha edition, launching on the Nintendo Switch system October 6th. I might get that. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Because I heard it's good, kind of like Bayonetta, but made by Square Enix. I have magic hat, a maze of deceptions, gun, a murder mystery. Is it just Clue the video game? This looks cool. Solve the enigma oh. of Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, launching first uh, for consoles on Nintendo Switch next year. That's a silly name. Familiar faces are making a splash in these games. A splash? Oh, hi. I don't know why would you splash. That's adorable. A bombastic new mode called Castle Mode enters the fray. Oh my god, it's Fortnite. Team players must blast their way to treasure chests, while one defending player tries to hold them off. Set up your defense wisely to blow away opponents. Literally. You can also create and share your own battle stages. Ooh. Have a blast when Super Bomberman R2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It looks a lot like Ten Mega Man R1. I literally just saw something on Twitter that people wanted a Mega Man collection. Control Mega Man in grid-based combat and use battle chips to gain oh, This is not what I thought they went. This collection includes a gallery with over 1000 illustrations and a music mode containing over 150 songs from across the Oh yeah, 3 seconds. Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection uh. on Nintendo Switch next year. The full collection will also be digitally available as Volume 1 and Volume 2, each sold separately. Hmm. A remake of Pac-Man oh, no. is okay. soon. Pac-Man's family has been kidnapped. Who are you? He sets off for Ghost Island. Eating dots isn't all you can do here. Pac-Man had a 3D platformer? Pac-Dots, the Reveral, the Butt Bounce, and 
a giant Pac-Man from high speed chases. Uh, what? Escapades. What? You'll explore all sorts of zany levels. Save the Pac Fan in Pac-Man World Repack. Launching on Nintendo Switch August 26th. That is so weird. Two unlikely friends. This looks One adorable. Journey. This looks amazing. A I love must work together to find a way home this is snowy wilderness it's so adorable world of Blanc. I, hate, I hate how he gets so sad when he talks about serious games emotional adventure these unlikely friends must coordinate and use their oh this is so adorable to solve environmental puzzles and navigate through the frigid wilds Blanc is a completely text-free story with local and online co-op play so all players can enjoy it that is so adorable. Oh, it's so adorable. Forge an unexpected bond. Uh -huh. and block. I'm playing that. I'm getting that. That's adorable. Launching as a console exclusive. If I can remember. Nintendo Switch, February 2020. Why does he get so serious with the sad games? That didn't need pirates. Deep in the Caribbean. Pirating is in my blood. Like adrenaline or stale grog. What? Monkey around and return to monkey. Island. Excuse me. Watching first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this year. This man just said monkey. I blanked out and then I just heard monkey around. That was announced last June. June? Last June. Mario and the Rabbids oh yeah for a god it's been an entire year Mario plus Rabbids game. now I did see this on Twitter like the website updated or something their goal take the energy possessed by sparks these mysterious creatures that's a luma now our heroes must set out to save them I love peach a new adventure of epic proportions awaits Rabbit Luigi. I have the first game, never finished it. But it looks more confusing than the other one. Three enemies were wiped out. With that, his turn is over. Wait, is that Bowber? He's joining the team? He was absent from the first game. I think I don't remember. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I know Bowser Jr. was kind of the bad guy. Okay, so they're getting a little special showcase. We hope you're looking forward which I will not do a video for. Mario and the Rabbids. Let's take a look at more headlines. Something for everyone. That's what I just said. During a story, uh, young alchemist Noah crash lands in ancient ruins. Little Noah, Scion of Paradise, launches a Nintendo Switch later today. Is that just a Metroidvania? All Train! In the management sim Railgrade, you'll build railway systems to efficiently transport cargo and help restore economic prosperity to an industrial colony. Dude, that looks awful. Each shipment before it's delivered to its okay, that looks better. Your strategies will change based oh, on this looks so like bad and confusing. And to run, which resources to acquire, and how to transport cargo from point A to point B. Railgrade steamrolls onto Nintendo Switch this fall. Joint aspiring game creator. I thought that was a Mori for a second. To save the world. It is not. His latest creation, The Legend of Right. This looks adorable. Taking place in Kenta's notebook, this RPG spans over 200 pages. That's a RPG this is cute. The Legend of Right unfolds onto Nintendo Switch August 18th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Mr. Wright, Phoenix Wright. Uh. Spin dash into oh. a new zone. Are we gonna get a normal Sonic trailer? Sonic's latest action adventure kicks off on the vibrant Starfall Island. Oh my God, we are. To a mysterious civilization. The IG, G, I, G, the IGN trailers give us so little. Really dash through a vast open zone, taking full advantage of Sonic's speedy skills. 
Lock on and attack enemies standing in your way. Chain together attacks to trigger combos and rack up damage. With good timing, you can even deflect enemy attacks. Acquire skills to bolster Sonic's... I hate that. No, I hate that too. I swear if there's any 2D in this game, I know a lot of Sonic fans are going to be angry. What awaits Sonic on these strange islands? What is that? Sonic Frontiers dashes onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Ooh, that game's going to be so interesting. I forgot about this. Why is Scar there? Dreamlight Valley was once an idyllic land where Disney and Pixar characters lived in harmony until the forgetting turned this dream into a nightmare. Now, it's up to you to help these iconic residents recover their lost memories and reveal the secrets that led you here. Disney Dreamlight Valley mm. launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. As Animal an Crossing 2. Take these adventures with you. Oh, is this the, the, the clip reel? Live Alive is coming alive on July 22nd. Uh, finally. I feel like I've been hearing about that game forever. Different protagonists, time periods, and gameplay await. Now in HD 2D. Nintendo Aren't all these stories like to connect eventually? From the demo can be transferred to the full game once purchased. Doraemon, Nobi, oh. and their friends land on an unknown planet and decide to help a new friend fulfill his dreams by farming, plow the fields. Oh my God! Animal Crossing crops, Three. And tend to the animals. You can even use Doraemon's secret gadgets to farm in a flash. Relax by living with friends, eating delicious meals, and fishing. And with local play. That literally looked like a thing a from Animal Crossing. Doraemon, Story of Seasons. I Friends swear. Kingdom launches on the Nintendo Switch system this year. The Orfish? I think it was the Orfish. The world of Minecraft meets action strategy gameplay in Minecraft Legends. A beautiful land surrounded by nah. nature is invaded by enemies from another dimension. Minecraft Legends launches on Nintendo Switch next year. It's a treasure yes. in paradise. <sighs> Two siblings dream of collecting no. from around the world. Uh, of Draconia to become legendary uh, treasure hunters. In this Dragon Quest series spin-off, you'll recruit a variety of Are they like siblings? To join you on a marvelous adventure. With their help and with your trusty fortune finder, locating loot will be a breeze. Creature treasure hunting. Oh my god. Next marks the spot. When Dragon Quest Treasures launches on Nintendo Switch December 9th. That is so weird. Such a weird game idea. This is not... Oh, okay. See, Fire Emblem's not third party. This is the clip reel? Yes, okay. I still need to finish Three Hopes on my personal time. Oh yeah, the rats. I don't think this has been shown before. To my memory. Uh... Aperture Lab? We're going to have so much fun together. At first, your participation is appreciated. I knew why have we already heard Portal was coming. There might even be cake. This is like the first Portal trailer Portal since forever. Will be available later today. With new dialogue. To call it the Why Do You Keep Killing Me collection. Uh, but oh well. This new dialogue. Get started, you monster. I love GLaDOS. Does that mean they'll make Portal 3? Forge friendships in a new fantasy world. 
Welcome to Lethe, a peaceful village where seasons. Oh my God! Animal Crossing Four. Your story begins here in this brand new life simulation RPG. Yeah. Farm work, cook and craft items, and trek through the fields to collect materials. Hmm. All while meeting. I don't remember that in Animal Crossing. The seasons gently flow from spring, summer, fall, and winter. That's not However, winter. They will give way to the season of death. Oh, excuse me? Quietus. Crops wither. Life is threatened. Find a way to stop the season of death from wreaking havoc on your home. What? Animal Crossing going nuts nowadays. The fate of the village depends on you. Begin your new life. Okay. So many Square Enix games. This next segment will be our last announcement. Oh. Please take a look. Nothing special. Uh -huh. Start. Yeah. What Coming at ya. am I looking at? I'm Morgana, reigning ace of the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Did they use motion and capture? Today, I'm bringing along an ultra top secret video. I hope you're ready. Am I gonna actually be forced to play a Persona now? Yup! Persona 5 Royal will launch on Nintendo Switch October 21st! And that's not all! I swear. Let's keep the ball rolling! Please don't tell me the other ones are coming. Right -o. Nice baton pass, Morgana! Okay, everyone, check this out! Uh, I'm gonna have to play Persona now because my friends really want me to. Better barely leave it. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 3 Portable are uh. Keep your eyes peeled for more. On Nintendo Switch. I know so little about Persona. That's all for today's Nintendo. Oh no, they got like JoJo stands. Thank you for watching. All right, that was interesting. I don't even remember <laughs> what I just saw. So overall, not disappointed because I didn't expect much out of that because it was a direct mini partner showcase. But you know, we did get the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 dire direct three to five days ago, the 22nd that's, uh, ish. Right? Six, six ish, six ish days ago. Which, you know, okay, it's fine. I, I don't even know what they would release for a normal direct because we know Breath of the Wild's been delayed, so we won't get anything off that probably until uh, December. Splatoon 3 is until September, but like they've been doing a lot of stuff on that for Twitter, so that's fine. What else is upcoming? I don't remember. Overall, a lot of weird games. I wouldn't say it was a solid direct, but there were a few games in there that actually made me go, I want to buy that. I want to play it. So it did its job. I am excited for some of these games. And they also reminded me that my backlog is <laughs> humongous and I have so many games to play still and finish those.
Thank you all so much for watching. I know this was definitely a different video, but I might add a new day to post videos instead of just Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes Sundays. I might do throw a Thursday in there. Who knows? There might just be days where I randomly upload a video because I want it to continue being like Tuesdays and Fridays are game videos and then Sundays is whatever I want. Some random spinoff series, some random video that I made or whatever. I want to keep content flowing, but also I don't want to stress myself out. So we'll see what happens. Anywho, I will see you all next time, whatever that may be. Toodles. Toodles.